Here's an update on my uh, homemade air conditioning units. Uh, this is a little mobile one that I built up yesterday that uh, has the ice packs inside that and you simply uh, use a USB fan with a power bank and you blow uh, air over the cold packs that are in there. But then today I got kind of serious. I, I went to a full-blown uh, basically an air conditioner. It's uh, got a uh, transmission cooler that I'm pumping um, cold water through. You can see the pump down in there. I'm pumping a return. And this is this little freezer uh, unit that uh, I'm pumping the cold water up through that uh, heat exchanger. And I got a real nice, real nice uh, air conditioning on that. Um, it's about a 10 degree drop. Let me show you here. 64. I'll show it here. 72. Uh, this one here is not as good. There's 68. But you know, there's there's a differential. Depends on where you point this thing. Some places show it hotter than it is, or colder than it is. But, um, like I say, this one here is really the one that uh, is the most effective. Anyway, the um, idea was to use a solar panel to power all this stuff, and I'm way off on the numbers of what this would take, um, even with a small one. Um, I've got the panel going into this, and all this thing here is doing is it's running the pump, and it's running the fan, and uh, that's all that's doing. The refrigerator itself, and right off wall outlet power. So I am off by a factor of, uh, well that was 30 watts. I might need 200 watts to make this thing happen. Um, way, way off on uh, what it would take to run an air conditioner doing it this way. But it was an interesting little experiment um, to uh, make up one of these things. And I don't know whether it would be better to have the fan in front of this intercooler or on the other side. I haven't decided yet. It, it cuts down the airflow when you do it that way, but it seems to be colder. It's hard to say, but uh, anyway, this uh, is basically a cold water powered air conditioner. Now, if the water at Catalina Island, where I'm going to go this uh, summer, is down in the low 60s or mid 60s, I can do it this way without the refrigerator. I just put the lines over the side of the boat and pump the cold water into that and uh, there's my uh, cooling and if the water's cold enough that's that's the better way to do that but uh, if it's like it has been a few years ago um, where it was uh, 68 70 degrees in the water and the air temperature was 82 with 80 percent humidity um, I'm going to have to go with a compressor air conditioner to get anything to happen. Um, this little guy here actually works pretty darn good. And that's just a makes a cold, dry spot where you're sitting. And um, it was a real simple little project yesterday just to make a cover for this thing. And you just take a USB fan and then you um, have your cold packs in there or ice or, or whatever you want. And then this is a solar powered power bank that uh, used for different things. But this was a, a quick and dirty way to make one of these little uh, ice chest air conditioning units. But you still got to get the cold. And that's why I went with this was, you know, to get the cold you have to have a refrigerator of some kind. And this was the project was just to see is it, is it practical and economically practical too to do something like this. Now, everybody's going to say, "Why don't you just go out and buy a 12 volt RV air conditioner?" Have you guys priced those things out? They are very, very, very expensive, and they eat up a lot of energy. 
So my thought was to come up with some kind of a hybrid kind of idea for the three or four days that I would need uh, some kind of really good cooling. And uh, this is where I'm at with this little project. But uh, anyway, that's the uh, state of the affairs on my what I'm calling the free cool, which uh, is not so free. <laughs> Thanks for watching.